right, until now we have installed Chromax. However, Chromax is only a simulation engine with some analysis tools. To study molecular systems, we also need a visualization program to check and render structures. Some of the best visualization software that works well with Chromax are Chimera X, Pymol and VMD. In this workshop, I'm gonna use VMD because it's mostly written in C and C++. So it's very fast and efficient and is capable of handling very large molecular systems. And it offers a good collection of analytical tools. Also in VMD, you can automate tasks using TLC scripting. And because VMD has a large community and extensive documents. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to install VMD on a Linux machine. First thing first, you need to download the code from the VMD website. Uh, from here, download VMD. And here I'm going to choose the latest version of VMD, which is VMD2. And uh, this works on every 64-bit uh, Linux. Alright, VMD is a free software, but you have to create an account in the website. I already created one. I agree and... Okay, here I'm gonna choose VMD2 for 64-bit Linux. And now I have VMD in my download folder. All right, first we need to extract the file and I'm going to extract it on my desktop using the talk command and the file is in the downloads folder. Here tilde sign means home folder because downloads is in the home folder. And we also need X zf options because this is a targz file and finally the name of the file which is vmd2 um, targz all right it has created a folder on my desktop which contains vmd files and first i'm gonna enter the folder using cd command let's see what's inside the folder all right, this is a binary package and all we need to do is edit this file, the configure file. I'm gonna open it using VI. By the way, you can edit the file using any text editor. Okay, here I'm gonna specify the location of the installation and I want to install it in the opt folder alongside Chromex. So I'm gonna change this line opt and vmd 2.0 and bin and we need to specify the location of the library files let's put it in opt and vmd 2.0 lib Now I'm going to save the file and execute the configure file. And finally, sudo make install. Press enter. Mm. All right, I've made a mistake. First, I must go inside the src folder. And then execute the make install command. Okay, let's check the installation. Opt and VMD. And the final step is to introduce the VMD folder to the bash shell. And if you don't know, bash is this text-based environment. And the reason is that when we summon the VMD command, the bash shell don't know where is the VMD binary file and its library files. And actually, this is a really easy job. All we need to do is open the 
dot bash rc file and at the end of the file we need to add um, this line path equals dollar path and opt and vmd 2.0 all right and then i'm gonna save the file finally i'm gonna restart the bash shell exit and open it again now i can execute the vmd command in any location in any directory by typing vmd that's it you have installed vmd on your system The final note is that you don't need this folder on your desktop anymore.